Hi, I'm Tom Rhodes. My favorite thing about being a comedian is to be able to go to different countries all over the world and be able to kill an audience with laughter. I wonder what people are making jokes about in Jakarta, Indonesia, the highest Muslim populated country in the world. And I wonder how my jokes are going to go on. I played all over Asia and the knowledge nugget I have gained in traveling around Asia is that the most beautiful women in the world are Thai men. <laughs> The first time I went to Jakarta was nine days after September 11th, and I was incredibly nervous because Muslim radicals were burning American flags in the street and saying to attack Americans and American businesses. Okay, Amon Sadler. I'm from Oxford, England. And I put on comedy shows in Jakarta. <laughs> Now, why would you? Why would you? Why would you make? Why would you put a comedy club in Jakarta? Well, if there's ever a place that needed something to laugh at, this is it. Man. The Middle East is hot. <laughs> people are tense. We need to build those people some water slide parks. <laughs> How much happier would they be if they could go down some refreshing water slides? Why do you think uh, people are so anti-American? Because it's stupid. It's no more America than it is England, than it is France, than it is Germany. They just see America as the representative of the decadent West, if you like. Indonesian TV is fucking fascinating, man. And they had Indonesian Wheel of Fortune. I don't, I don't know if you watch it. It's different than like an American trip. <laughs> the puzzles are shit like death to imperial <laughs> Ten years after my first visit, Osama bin Laden has been killed. And Jakarta not only has the ability to laugh at themselves, they have advanced to such a point that they now put on their own international comedy festival. I think it's the true mark of an advanced civilization whether or not they have stand-up comedy. And if the people have the ability to laugh at their own misfortunes. We, we had some time in the middle where they were blowing stuff up. They did the Bali bombs and the, the Marriott and the uh, Ritz bombs and uh, the Australian embassy and so on. And that obviously slowed us down for a little while. Now we're back every month. You're another year older. Let's hear how you blame that on the Jews. <laughs> That's, I was raised in the Japanese family. That's what we do. We apologize. And we're good at it. You ever bump in a Japanese tourist? Immediately they're like, <laughs> <laughs> Lots of Bali, it's endless. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry and dizzy. <laughs> they must have had serious guilt flying over Pearl Harbor. Just like, <laughs> sorry, sorry. The head of the church in England is the Archbishop of Canterbury. And he's not a very welcoming phrase either. This is it, right? Now that is not. <laughs> this is my fourth time in Jakarta. The first time I came to Jakarta, I was single, and a good friend of mine took me to a bar and was filled with beautiful women. And he said, they're not prostitutes, they're professional amateurs. <laughs> he said, they might you know, have sex with you, but they might ask for cab fare the next morning. And the next morning, I was like, $300? Where do you live? Sumatra? <laughs> India is a huge country. It's the fourth largest population in the world. It's the largest Islamic country. It consists of 17,000 islands that are spread out in this sort of long archipelago. It contains some of the most stunning geography and topography on Earth. Crystal clear lagoons, mountains, volcanoes. All of that is here. Culture, history. It's a place where you're surprised constantly by the beauty of it, the warmth of the welcome, the, the friendliness of the people, and the sheer sort of st stunning, pristine nature of the, of, of the natural world. <laughs> I'm going to cure my bald spot. <laughs> Eat the cough. <laughs> Well, they suck, yeah? 
Mm, it's better than chocolate. They've got the three people on a moped with a pole and they're carrying buckets of things. One guy has a mattress that he's holding above them. They're experts at it. They don't crash. They get to where they're going, hauling their, their load of lumber on a moped. And they say Asians can't drive. For me, the highlight of the trip happened on the very last day. It was a car-free day, so there were no cars on the streets. And then later in the afternoon, there was a parade because it was Jakarta's birthday. And uh, we met these Muslim people, and they were wonderful. And they were very happy to meet me, an American. And the girl, it turned out, was in a Beatles club. So we sang Beatles songs together in the square on the last day. We sang my favorite Beatles song, We Can Work It Out. Life is very short, and there's no time. For fussing and fighting, my friend. So long, Jakarta. Thanks for not killing us.